joined by Khalil Blair and head coach Roland Mirabal. Khalil, it's not the first time you've been the MVP. Another impressive performance, 14 points and 11 steals. You seem to be able to push the fast break every time and pull out that huge first half lead. What were you trying to do knowing they were the defending champs? I was just trying to play defense because defense wins games. Pass, pass the ball to my teammates and score back buckets. As a football player, you seem to love the contact. There were a lot of plays where you were rushing hard towards the hoop and they were trying to block it and they gave you the contact, a couple of end ones. How much fun is it to have that contact and know that you can be able to go against some bigger guys? It just feels good. Just get the contact layup, make an end one. And I also have my teammates, so I got to play with them. So they helped me out and to get this one. And Khalil, 14 of the 17 players on this team, seniors, you guys had some losses in the playoffs the past two years. How good did it feel to be out there on that final play of the game? You had the ball in your hands, four guys who have been there with you all three years to have a chance to win this title. It felt really good. It felt like we finally made it, and I'm glad to win the championship. Congratulations, Khalil. A fantastic career here at Tim Hilton. I'm sure it's not the last time we'll hear him of him. We'll bring in head coach Roland Mirabal. Coach, we talked about it before the game, having those close losses and now having a senior group that was focused on defense. Kept them to nine points in the first half. How happy were you with your team's defensive performance? I was, I was extremely proud of them. I was elated. I mean, uh, they put in a lot of hard work. There's been mornings when they come in, they get up sometimes before six o'clock in the morning to just be at the gym, just to shoot around, just to get some practices in. For three years in a row, Khalil, LeQ, Dana, Michael, they've been the core of our team. You know, they've been motivators. And just to, have, to see them on the floor and actually win it all finally after three years, it's, it's just an incredible feeling. At the same point, 14 eighth graders on this team. You have no idea what next year will look like, but how do you soak in a moment like this, knowing how much hard work they put in? Well, definitely, I mean, we, uh, we're going to have some time to hopefully enjoy this one. I mean, it's just, we're just literally soaking it in, you know, but um, we're just going to take some time, you know, hopefully celebrate, um, have the school hopefully recognize us for the hard work that we put in, and uh, it's going to be a rebuilding season. You know, um, we're looking forward to a core group of sixth graders right now who are really eager. I mean, we had a lot of kids try out for the team. Unfortunately, some of them didn't make it because we already had so many people on the team, but um, a lot of them are looking forward to actually just having another hopefully great season. Some of them, you know, just disappointed that they didn't make the team, but extremely excited that now that we got this championship and we're going to bring it home, it's something to look forward and just build a legacy, hopefully, on, on those type of, you know, plays that these kids have made. So, Coach, congratulations on an undefeated season. The Timothy Tigers, champions again.